Howdy folks, Gruck the Duck Farmer here, and it's time for Edge of Twilight. It's a new pack by Kreasel that you actually start in the Twilight Forest. And I like the Twilight Forest, I like the, the ambiance of it, I like the quests of it. It's kind of laggy on multiplayer servers, but there's ways around that. And speaking of which, uh, there is an actual multiplayer server that you can uh, jump onto. Uh, links on how to get the, the pack is in the, the description. Uh, I'm going to do a single player. And as I always do, I always make a void world so I can test things. I can play with my configs. Uh, that's always there, but I don't play there. We're going to play here. And let's make it uh, Edge of Twilight. All right, let's go ahead and do that. More world options. I always like giving it a seed. Why light? Why not? Uh, that way, if you want to play along with the same seed I'm using, you can. Anyway, I, I don't know why I never put spaces in the seed. I, you, you totally can. I just never do. Um, and that loads. And we're in. Speaking of loading, it's going to take a little bit as things render in. Uh, there is... Oh, there's the portal. Yay. Uh, this pack takes less than a minute for it to load in for me, which is very handy. Oh, that looks like the little cave of those, what, snow trolls, snow golems, whatever the, the snow guys are. It's been a while since I've uh, played Twilight Forest. Uh, things are... What do we got? What do we got? There's a Lich Tower here. Very nice. We'll need that for a later quest. But first, let's always uh, go ahead and make a waypoint for the portal. Uh, portal. Make it nice and bright. I like white for, for that. Uh, the, the reason being is... Here, let's move a little bit out of the way. There we go. Yes, now we can see where the portal is, where spawn is. And there's a mod in this pack called... Uh, mine and slash and it will uh, change things up the further away from uh, the the spawn area you go the meaner the mods mobs are what is this instant heal oh, well, let's put that here uh, common or that's that's mine and slash okay we got uh, this is mistcraft and that accesses the quest book but I can get to the quests up here which is perfectly fine. So I don't need the quest book. Will you go through a portal? It did. Okay, cool. Let's go see what's in here. Overworld. And it's just a standard overworld, but I can't break anything. Uh, the, there's no real reason to come here to the overworld. Uh, from what I understand, the overworld, the end, and the nether have all been turned into adventure mode. So I can't break anything. I have no permissions to break stuff. Because the whole purpose is to be here in... Uh, yeah, see, I can break stuff here. The whole purpose is to be here in the Twilight Forest. But you can't have a Twilight Forest without a overworld. So that, that's how that works. And uh, anyway, so the further out you go, the, uh, the, the meaner the mods get at mods. Mobs get. Ooh, speaking of mob, hello, Raven. Can I kill you? I can. <laughs> Ooh, quest. Uh, Silence of the Forest. Yeah, that, that reminds me. Let's see. Is L? It is. Okay, that's Twilight Forest. Enter... Silence of the Force. Hunt down some of the local wildlife. All right. Why are you so small? I would like you to be bigger. Um, anyway, the this will guide me through doing some of the, the, the quests in the Twilight Forest. But having played before... Yes, there it is. There's the, the sparkly thing that says, I have not completed the quest up to this point. And so I can't... <coughs> I can't do anything further. Uh, can I get into here? Ooh, I can. I seem to remember before I couldn't do anything. Well, I can still break blocks. Uh, but yeah, the, you, you, you don't want to um, go into an area that you have not unlocked. Where's my portal? There's my portal. Oh, these guys I like. Because they are lights that you can move around and they're bugs. That's just kind of fun. Okay, I'm going to steal that. Uh, what else do we've got going on around here? Yeah, there's the portal. 
and um, I do like these massive trees those are those are very cool uh, I like those what else we we've got some stone over here so let's let's go ahead and uh, mine a little bit we've got a tree it's that standard fun thing of punching wood yay let's punch some wood now there are several mods in here that I want to jump into uh, the 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 tech stuff is not here because Twilight Forest is all about you know questy magical cool stuff and so there's no no tech mods in this it's it's all uh, wizardry and so oh, cool got us some stuff uh, the the three main mods that I was looking at as far as magic uh, electro blobs wizardry roots which I've done a little bit with and runes of wizardry. Uh, which I have not, nor have I done anything with the Electro Blobs. Uh, and uh, there's no Tinkers, which bums me out because I do like having the, the crafting tables or the crafting stations that I can put stuff in and prep up recipes. So there is a mod that allows you to do that. I, I may suggest that because that would be very handy to, to have. Uh, anyway, let's toss that down. Let's make us some stuff. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn that all into what's its. All right, let's do this. I want a pick and I want an axe. Cool. All right, these things can go off my inventory. Trees, big old trees. <laughs> let's, no, wrong button. That's the axe. That's very slow. I wonder if we have vein mining for trees or vein mining period oh it we do have vein mining which is very nice okay so let's go ahead and uh, vein mine okay so maybe it's just trees <laughs> that uh, will give us the vein mining all right there let's uh let's get a bunch of this uh, stone real quick enough to make at least two tools I like that these are convenient because I don't have to dig down. Uh, one of the other things that, that's interesting, I, I keep an eye on my mini-map and I'm not seeing any mobs around me. There's some mobs that are really close, that, but I think they're all underground, like you know, right below me there's some, some mobs. Uh, but nothing really is spawning on the surface and I think that's one of the, the benefits of the Twilight Forest is that you don't get mobs spawning on the the surface which i for one am okay with that <laughs> I would, i'm not ready to uh to, to find me a bunch of mobs all right so we've got upgrades i wonder if i can pound down a tree like this oh that's <laughs> so slow <laughs> Okay, I, I'm going to assume the answer is yes if it's this slow. Holy cow. Well, it's probably calculating every one of the, the, the tree, um, the, the log blocks that it has to break. And it's saying, yeah, if you're breaking that much, it's going to take you this long to break it. And I'm just going to keep going. This is... Woo! Okay, so yes, <laughs> yes it does. <laughs> Very nice. All right, so holy cow, you s exploded all over the place. You really exploded all over the place. Uh, I can see a few blocks up there that I didn't get. All right, and that took down about half of my axe. Wow. Oh, we've got blocks all over this place. Uh, cool. Okay, so uh, I'm going to chop down one more of these, and I think I will have pretty much all the wood I will need for a good chunk of time. That gave me a stack and a teeny bit more. Come on, come on. I, I was thinking, because of how slow this, this block breaking was, I was wondering if that's the sort of speed you get if you're trying to break, break a block of ore and your pick isn't strong enough to, to, to get that. And if that's the case, then, yeah, you, you break the block, but nothing else happens. 
Whee! Look at all that stuff. Okay, oh, it just... I've got nine durability left on my, uh, my axe here. Cool, and since that was just a little bit of stone, I don't care. Let's gather up everything I can find. Uh, there's more stuff hiding around here. I, I see these things. These are roots. And you... I seem to remember sticks. Woohoo! Sticks! Give me sticks. Precious sticks. All right. Let's break this over here because, you know, you can never have too many sticks. No matter how much you try, it's impossible. All right. So, this is really good. Um, I just had a thought. And my thought is... I may build in one of these trees as, you know, one, lots of wood for me to, to make things with. And so, um, hello, piggy. Mmm, food. I thought I saw another piggy. There's a piggy over there. There he is. Hello. Would you like to become pork? Not, didn't kill him fast enough. Alright, uh, there was a... Ooh, ooh, hole. Piggy, hello. you. Okay, so, uh, I was saying before I got distracted by bacon, um, that building in these... This looks like a little taller. So, um, building... Oh, sheep. Uh, building in one of these would be probably really good. That would give me lots of wood as I'm digging stuff around. This is too close to the lich, so I'm going to do this tree over here. And it's a little bit closer. Ooh, yeah, let's avoid that. Oh, ding! Miscraft profiling complete. There's a lot of obsidian for me. Is there anything... Lapis! Alright, so I will snag that later. Uh, but not for right now. Okay, so this is really close to the, the entrance place of the world. And you are taking, like, forever to chop. I am not going to try to chop the entire tree down. I think that would be bad. Uh, let's do this. And uh, dig in a little bit. And uh, make ourselves a little cubby hole. Because then we can hide from the mobs and... Oh. Well, this thing is hollow. Well, that saves me so much digging time, so that is good. Alrighty. Uh, there we go. Well, if this is hollow, let's... Uh, there, see, now I can get in and out. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that, that works. Well, I did completely did not expect that at all. Let's uh, head on up. Okay, show of hands in the audience. Who knew these things were hollow? <laughs> I'm liking that it's hollow. It means I can, and I'm liking this, it means I can do multiple layers pretty easily and quickly without having to do huge amounts of excavation. Although that means I'm not going to have nearly as much wood this way. Although uh, I think I just demonstrated that I can get plenty of, of wood for doing things by just chopping down a tree. Yeah, see, that's definitely one of those things with, like, the snow trolls or whatnot in them. So there's a snow biome there. Oh, there's the tall snow. That's, like, the, where the snow queen is. So that's really close. Uh, what else can I see from up here? There's the, the, the Lich King's castle. That's so cool looking. I love how it just com comes out in little knobbly bits. Uh, let's see. Oh, the, the the rainbow tree, that oak tree, looks really pretty popping out in here. And that's a funky biome with, like, stripes. You can see it in the, the foliage. That's funky. Another couple of the big monster trees, monster trees. Not really seeing anything beyond there. Oh, are you noticing something? The stars are not moving. It's almost like it's always... Twilight. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I knew about that. A, a sparkling vampire came by and, and told me that that was, you know, the case. It's always twilight here. Uh, and, let's see, time. Yeah, see, it's, it's, it's 13 o'clock at night. 
So there should be mobs spawning, but they don't. They seem to spawn underground where it's dark, but not at this twilight level, which is interesting. Uh, F3, what does it say? The, the sky is a light of 15. So that's why it, uh, they're not uh, spawning, because it's like always sunny twilight um, in going on here. Okay, I don't really see anything further. Let's break a little bit there. Can I get over here? Okay, I, I could bridge over to there to look around, but uh, I think I think we've got a pretty good uh, idea of what's around here. Let's head on down. Oh, don't have that speed thing of when you look down. Oh, maybe that's just stairs. I, I like the mod that, that adds that. Okay, let's go ahead and twilight oak planks. Cool. I'm going to... You know, I'm going to do this. Break that. Sorry, flower. You can go away for a second. Uh, where's my crafting bench? Crafting bench is here. Let's put the crafting bench there. And let's make a chest. Right there. See? Now I've got uh, ways. Okay, I like that. Uh, let's... Uh, that's ugly, but let's... Oh, yeah, that's very ugly. Does that make a... Oh, it does make a door. Cool. Okay, we'll, we'll go with the uh, Twilight Oak door for the Twilight Oak tree. Alrighty, we can do that. Uh, can we mix and match woods? We can. Perfect. Let's drop down that there. Now we can sit there and get rid of some of the stuff off of our inventory that we don't need. Okay, don't need the linking book either. Uh, uh, no, I do want to keep the instant heal. And I took all my stuff off. Oh, I got some fireflies. Let's put those in here because you know, I don't need the light, but it's kind of cool looking. All right, the I saw quest thing. The minimum storage. Yay, give me a reward. Oh, a bunch of XP. Uh, what else do we got here? Over here, uh, yeah, it's saying, you know, look at the backstory. Okay, fine. Hoppers are bad. Yeah, yeah, hoppers are great for moving things around, but they can definitely cause lag, especially on, on multiplayer servers where people have lots of hoppers. If the storage option it's the hopper is trying to push into is full and there's items in that hopper every ticket's going can I put stuff in can I put stuff in can I put stuff in and it's doing that over and over and over and that causes tick which is not so good uh, colossal storage carry on luggage uh, the cool it looks like uh, iron backpacks free item all right vault topic is this let's go ahead and say da 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 give me give me what did I get? I got Vault Topic. Okay, this is a, a new mod uh, that allows you to search inventory for cobble. Hey, look, I've got cobble in here, which is pretty cool. Now, one of the things you can do with this, it's got a range of five, is you, we can upgrade this to... That's a recipe that looks like I can just make... Okay, this... Oh, hot diggity. Okay, this is the... The upgraded one, cobble, and it's still there, but oops, uh, this has a range of 10, double that of 5, but I just saw this. This is the crafter. Oh, that is really nice gift from the beginning. This means I can craft stuff. So say I want to make um, a chest. To make a chest, I need wood. I have no wood. Okay, to make wood, I need um, some sort of log. Okay, let's look at everything wrong. Let's grab these here. Uh, G is search. V is to bring up the, the crafting. Okay, uh, I can come in here and I can craft stuff. So let me take these just so I don't have to search more later. Uh, v. I may bind that to like C for crafting. Anyway, I want to make a chest. 
it snagged those logs from this chest, and if I cancel out, I now have the logs in my inventory. It pulled it out of the chest and into my inventory. Okay, let's click this again. Chest, click, make. Isn't that cool? I was able to create that. I was able to pull those things out of my inventory. That is majorly nice. I'm gonna move you out for, for a second. Okay, uh, that makes me feel much, much happier. Uh, I got enough. Yeah, and, and I just got rid of it, so why am I building from this here? Because inertia. Uh, let's go ahead and put that there. I've got, why am I looking when I wanna go here? Let's make a bunch of charcoal. There we go. Well, ugh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have done a logs because you get far more burnability out of the four planks than you do with just the, the one log. Mm, oh, well. Actually, yeah, I'll just leave that there for right now. Uh, okay, so I need to go ahead and um, organize myself. I, I, I may fill this up so I'm at this layer instead of being down low here because that's just kind of weird. Uh, and uh, I need to um, build me a base. Did I not? Okay, I can jump up here. Okay, good. That's what I want. And I also have turned off the auto jump. I don't like the auto jump. I do like it with other items. Uh, the Botania belt of what's it? I can't remember. Um, that that helps me auto jump. That that I like better because it doesn't eat up food, which is one of the reasons why I want to make this charcoal so that I have food. I should find another pork chop, but oh well. I need some food. Guess who's got a beginning base? Me. That's who. Yeah, yeah, you knew that. All right, so here's what I decided to do. I decided to go ahead and, and hollow this out a little bit. Okay, so I, I leveled up with dirt and then put down some slabs. So we've got it at the level of the, the door here. And these walls I can't take out as well as those walls because that opens up the tree. But this 5x5 five five minus the corners, I can live in. That is definitely doable got rid of the the leaves or the leaves but the the vines over there here's a second floor I've been using fireflies for lights in here here's a third floor and here is where I think I will go ahead and actually start uh, building out and uh, putting out platforms so I can do things like roots and you know, the electro bobs uh, electro blobs wizardry and all those other things so uh, that's kind of how I'm gonna go and, and I've been using these slabs uh, and I've been sticking with the twilight oak slabs and the canopy slabs because they have a nice color and they match very nicely. So I'm, I'm going with that. And uh, the other thing that's been really, really nice is having my vice here from Voltopic is I, I changed the key to C for crafting. And I've got crafting, which is very, very nice. Plus, you know, I've got uh, this oak here. If I want to do a brown bed... And I went ahead and snagged some of that. Let's go ahead and grab. I got the 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 uh, the video. I got the wool from down below here, which is pretty darn cool. Now I'm gonna put the bed up here. Uh, let's put it here so it's kind of away from the rest of the stuff. And now I wonder if you sleep in the Nether, it blows up. It's night. So this says 12, almost 12.50. Let's try it. Dun, dun, dun. And nothing happens. Okay, and the night didn't advance. Okay, uh, that makes me feel better. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if that set my spawn point, but I'm hoping it did. Uh, all right, so there was one other thing. Uh, I was, uh, here, let's go back to this. Yeah, I got some stone, getting an upgrade. We saw that roots of the root of magic and well, sweet trees. This is fine wild root, and that was this from roots. I was breaking dirt and, and whatnot and got several of these things 
uh, aubergine seed. That's aubergine um, is the same thing as an eggplant. It's just the French way of saying it. Uh, anyway, the terra spores is also from roots. I got those from it. Uh, found some uh, some deer. Uh, killed them. Let's get the mutton. Oh, the, the leather came with the, the the deer. What else did I do? Oh, cicada. Oh, I've got one in my inventory because I was going to talk about it. Right now, did you hear that? No, you don't, because I got rid of all the cicadas at close to this level as possible. Now, uh, they were around the outside of this tree. Every so often, and I'll stand really... That, right there. It, it just did a little piece. You can see the little uh, notes going off. He makes noise. And it, it seemed like it got cut off really, really... That that little clickering sort of chittering noise that's the noise of a cicada and it can get really really loud so no cicadas in my base i'm I, i'm going to get some dirt and i'm going to pillar up oh it's raining it's raining right there <laughs> through the trees uh there's cicada 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 there's a few of them but they're much further up because i went through and got rid of there's no one there uh I, I i'm gonna pillar up and get rid of all the cicadas because to me they're very annoying so i'm gonna get rid of that anyway uh the beginning of a base i'm gonna spend some time uh collecting up some wood speaking of wood i went over here oh wow they, they grew up big um i went over here and um replanted the canopy trees which means these guys spawn again. Yay, for more lights. <laughs> uh, anyway, these guys um, are what I'm going to be using for lights until I get the glow berries. That is a wolf. That's a very big wolf. All right, we'll leave that very big wolf alone. Oh, one more over here. Give me. And I'm hoping that even though it's dark here now, let's take a look that it won't spawn anything he said hopefully uh also planted a bunch of oak and that seems to have gone bananas over here and uh, just because i wanted to you know get some more wood uh, the 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 canopy wood i can do pretty fast and i'm getting lots of this twilight oak from hollowing out the tree Let's close this not raised in a barn and the the thing that i'm i'm looking at to make these drawers, I have to have oak. I can't make that out of the, the, the canopy or the, the twilight oak. It's got to be oak oak. So that's why I've got to grow those things. Anyway, uh, what am I going to be doing in the next little while? I'm going to build some platforms up on the third floor. Uh, so I have some room to expand and do stuff. And I might move the storage up there too. I've got some really good range with the, the the vice, but I would like to have a bigger storage area because chests and storage drawers and iron chests, and that's all the storage access I'm going to have in this pack. And that uh, firefly is putting little sparkles right there. There. No, it's not. Anyway, I, I'm having a blast with the... the the Twilight Forest, I love the ambiance, I love the, the very natural things, and I'm going to get into some of the, the magical mods, because those are fun. But first, I need a, a better base, build me out a base, and uh, maybe get some resources. Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here, playing a little Edge of Twilight. And thanks for watching. Bye.